I don't think it's as big as a shift as one might hope with a return to small scale Assassin's Creed, but, but this is more like Old X to kind of parkour and circles parkour down. But the world is like built way better for parkour compared to the recent entries in my opinion. The recent entries are these giant open world sandboxes. They're not designed to parkour the same way one singular city is. But I, I noticed around Baghdad there's a kill five I think at once. I am not like surprised by what Mirage is but I had a good time playing it. It's kind of exactly what I had hoped and thought it would be. It's very much still feels like Assassin's Creed of late. Anywhere you look in Baghdad, you can kind of see like a line to parkour. And I was testing that quite a few instances, just, you know, trying to hit it from like front to back, run around and see if I could do it differently. Um, and it's fun like carving your own little path through the city. Uh, I feel like in Valhalla and Odyssey and Origins, you can kind of climb everything and the parkour is just there because it's Assassin's Creed and we have parkour. Whereas here it feels built around Baghdad specifically, which I like. There is my target. They feel like these big diorama puzzles where if you fail, it's like, okay, I'm gonna reload and I'm, I'm making my line. I'm just like, I'm speed running. And like, how can I be as efficient as possible taking these out? And the, the, the levels themselves are really neat because the first contract we. There's. A lot of cool stuff there, but I think when you like boil it down to its core, like you have to know how to uh, escape, you have to know how to hide when it's appropriate. A gatehouse blocking the blocking the canal, and so before you could steal a boat, uh, and the and the the sub goal was to be undetected. It was this vertical, this game of verticality and figuring out which guards to take out in which way, so that you could hit a lever and open up, release the gates so that you could then jump into the water, get on the boat, and, and steer it out, and, and steer it to the secret uh, cove for to complete the mission. That stuff was really cool because it wasn't just go, go assassinate this person, right? Something that, I mean, we've only played three contracts, which are like not even story content, so I don't want to speak to the story, but like these contracts showed a pretty clear dedication to the stealth focus that the series was born out of. Um, and that's something, that's probably what I'm most excited about. One thing I really like about the, the, the levels in this game, or I, really it's the, it's the open aggroing everything you see, which you could do in, in like the last three games to uh, pretty good, pretty high success and still have a really good time. 